One of the biggest misconceptions is we're going to put our air compressor in this tiny little room. We're going to turn the lights off, close the door, and just go to town on the business. You know, compressed air is necessary. You might even want to call it a necessary evil. But if you don't have compressed air, you don't have anything. Your CNC's won't work, your air tools won't work, you know, you might as well just turn the lights off in the whole plant and go home. So you go out and buy a one and a half million dollar CNC machine and it requires compressed air to run it. You proudly display that machine in the middle of your production floor for everybody to see. But the necessary ingredient to make that machine operate is put in a small room, the door shut, and the lights out. Why do you do that? Your compressor is actually almost more important <laughs> than your CNC machine because without the compressor, the CNC doesn't run, right? Without the compressor, none of your sets. None so of your sets. Why, why, why don't you treat your compressor like, like really almost the most valuable piece of equipment in your plant and, and set it up in a well-ventilated, well-lit area with enough service room, at least 36 inches of space around your dryer, around your compressor, around your tanks, so service can be accessed. Uh, if you've got a 150 horsepower compressor and you need to replace the motor on it, how are you going to get it out if that, compress if that compressor is in a small room with no place for a fork truck to work, no place for an engine hoist to work, you know, no access to that machine? I'd like to add to that, all of us sitting around this table have been technicians. And um, we appreciate clean, well-lit, uh, ventilated compressor rooms. And I would also add to that uh, that I spend more time in those compressor rooms. Um, when you're Not comfortable, like this. yeah. When, when you're comfortable, <laughs> you will spend more time on a customer's machine. So it's a uh, it's really good. Would you? Would well, you the other thing is uh, you said well ventilated. Uh, you start increasing the temperature in your in your, in your uh, compressor room, you're going to find out that your dryer is inadequate, and you're going to have water in your plant. As it has everything to do with the heat. The, you're uh, overtaxing the dryer by the heat load that's, that's coming from, uh, from a, a compressor that is running hot. So uh, that is, just want to throw that in. And, uh, it's important that the room is cool just to get rid of moisture. Uh, you'll find that obviously and sometimes people are complaining about modern water in airlines. Mm -hmm. Well, because their, their compressor room is not well ventilated. Yeah. Okay. So there's so many hidden. Or the dryer isn't oversized yeah. to compensate for that. So there's so many hidden costs in a compressor well, absolutely. system. Uh, when you, you talked about water in a compressed air system, washing all that lubrication away, yeah. uh, customers uh, spool valves on the machines, wearing you know, those those uh, good old important uh, cup seals and O-rings, putting flat spots on them, um, consumes a lot of energy, costly to replace those val uh, those valves or cylinders. You can lubricate an air tool. But if you wash it away with water, you got it. the other thing is, if it's still connected to the airline, you've got water sitting there overnight. Mm -hmm. well, what are you going to have? Pitted, rusty, you know? The end result is you need dry air in a plant. And dry air starts at the air compressor room and the, and the environment that your compressor's in. Okay? And if it is hot, there's certain temperatures that can go beyond and shut off the air compressor, but it's running at a hot temperature. And the dryer's in that room. You need to oversize that dryer to compensate for that extra heat load. And there are correction factors on every single uh, dryer sheet of manufacturer makes them. And if you anticipate that instead of a 100 degree uh, ambient condition or air coming out of your air compressor, it becomes 120 degrees going to the dryer. A uh, 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 50 C, uh, 25, uh, excuse me, 250 CFM dryer and 250 CFM is not adequate. You need to go to 500. You need to double the size if you go to 120. So it's important to know. It's not that your dryer isn't working, it's that you're giving it too big of a, a load to, to start with. Yeah.